So, the cruise of the Graf Spain. This is not from Wikipedia, so I do apologize for that. Um, something to make it through the editing process. But I've been talking a lot about the number of kills she makes. And um, this is quite a good map for showing those because it lists them off and where they get sunk, what happens to them, they're captured, they're sunk, da 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 da. What it really does illustrate is the gaps between them. I know I keep hammering on about this, and I do apologise if I'm overly labouring a point, but it's something which I've read a lot of books on, and not a lot of books have mentioned it, because they keep approaching the Grass Bay as just the pure surface radar. They're looking at it as a simple surface radar mission. And I'm going to give a hack trip tip to um, Spitfire Philly, Victoria. Uh, one of an excellent young historian, she actually specialises in Luftwaffe. One of the things I always enjoy about her work is she looks at the political aspects and she looks at the individuals as well, and she looks at what they were trying to achieve. And it's the same here that should be done when you're approaching a grass bay. If you're approaching that should be done when you're approaching a grass bay. If you're approaching this as purely a commerce raiding ship mission, then honestly, we know from the maps we've seen on other times, the grass bay should have gone straight for the river plate, been bashing as much as they could out of there, out of the trade coming out of there, and then possibly once they draw the fleet over there, try to go around to the spaces over in Freetown. The trade going through the Indian Ocean doesn't really go south, it goes straight to the Suez Canal. So operating down here is not attacking, is not an economic warfare. It's not going for the trade. In terms of going for the trade. It's trying to get a psychological impact on the trade. So he's trying to cause maximum effect for minimum effort to keep his ship alive. Now, Hitler, of course, famously didn't want any of his big battleships and his heavy cruisers like the Graf Spain. I know we aren't call it a pocket battleship, but it isn't. It's a large, heavy cruiser, at best. Not a particularly good one, it's on the way. But, still, this is being overly cautious. You then combine this with Langsdorff's very gentlemanly approach to how he sinks these ships, and honestly, the main question, you then combine this with Langsdorff's very gentlemanly approach to how he sinks these ships. And honestly, the main questions that you start to wonder are, what is the fame going on here? And why does he achieve so little? Well, I've answered the why does he achieve so little. And the fame, I think the fame can be answered for the fact that actually he was down there. It's going to sound strange, but for all the stuff I will hammer Langsdorff and the Grass Bay about for in terms of their capabilities of what they're using, what they're doing, actually getting down there, actually managing to thread through the Royal Navy, even, as it was technically peacetime, and get down and operate down here is a feat. The fact that he managed to operate for the long time he does is because he avoids everything, including merchant ships, which could be targets. But he's down there. And the battle is one of the most famous of World War II because it happened so early and because it's in many ways the battle the British public were expecting. It's in many ways the battle the British public were expecting. After the experience of World War I, they expected a surface raider battle. They expected their Royal Navy's cruisers to engage the enemy and they expected to hear about it. And when they did so early in the war, this was not only a morale booster, it was a fulfilment. It, for the Royal Navy, it was an important fulfilment of a message they'd been doing. They'd been saying they were there to protect trade, as they do today. And this was physical proof, virtual, visible testimony to the fact that they were protecting trade. So the battle's almost more important than the whole cruise bit. But 
There's no point looking at that if you haven't got to the cruise. But that's why I've done the whole thing, rather than just doing a day on the 13th of December and going, well, hey, here's the battle of the room plate. This is why I am taking up my life and causing myself stress doing this. Anyway, hope you're enjoying it.